So I had a diving accident on July 4th, 2016. Uh, dove off the back of my buddy's boat to shallow water and um, shattered the fifth vertebrae in my neck, um, resulting in paralysis. I also drowned. So it took me about three weeks to get on my feet. Not on my feet, but I was in a in a induced coma for about three weeks before I woke up to this new reality, right? Um, well, it's a completely new life, right? I, I think the healthcare system is just a part of that. Uh, I found the healthcare system to be very uh tricky to navigate, especially as you're looking for doctors who have experience with your particular situation. Um, so for me, it's, it, it, it's having a urologist that really understands, a uh, primary care physician that has accessible facilities, as well as gets uh, or has experience, you know, with, with people with spinal cord injuries. Um, and then more intentionally, uh, I feel like insurance dictates so much of the cover that we we get i'm sorry the care that we get um and and so often like it, it's not enough right like the first I, I think i was discharged from outpatient physical and occupational therapy um within my first year because you aren't making functional gains so they call it a plateau and they're not there to pay for continued maintenance um was one of the glaring issues that I saw in our community, in, in the New Orleans community. And one of the things that I wanted to address with the programs that we launched. Another big one is like access to mental health care, right? Access to um, quarterbacks in a sense that can help guide you to resources and care. Um, those are the biggest barriers that I see um, missing in the continuum of care process um, but the health, you know, healthcare is just one one part of it, um, and it's it's a massive industry, right? Like the healthcare industry is the number one industry in the country. So, Split Second Foundation's mission is to break physical, societal, and research barriers for people with disabilities. What that means is, I attack um specific problems and try to provide solutions for them whether that's um in transportation and advocacy or housing and scaling and creating a like we're right now we're working on a housing project um that would be 100 universal design apartment complex right on the societal stuff there's no fitness centers specifically for people with disabilities right where there was an intentional focus on uh, people with spinal cord injury, stroke, traumatic brain injuries, other neurological conditions, but also amputations. We created this fitness space, man, where, where people are just so comfortable. It's a community center, right? Um, it, it's, it's a home for them. Um, the intentionality behind uh, my staff, which is a physical therapist, uh, by training my director is a physical therapist by training um and then my two three trainers are either kinesiology background or physical um physical therapy assistant background right so kind of understands from a medical perspective how to work with this population already we created a curriculum to train them uh just in specifics of working with somebody with a spinal cord injury different levels and make sure that they know it and they are giving the level of service necessary to each patient on an individualized patient basis. Um, but this is just this super comfortable environment. So that's our split second fitness program. And then the cares program, we connect um, the same population with, um, with mental health professionals that can either connect with them on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Uh, we have support groups that we're setting up. We do music and art therapy. And then on the other side of that, um, we are connecting them with different state resources that are available that are just, sometimes the application process is the barrier, right? 
Like it's just tricky for some people to navigate. And so we were calling it a, a um, resource navigation component to that program to split second cares. Um, so far, those are the biggest buckets that we get we're into. I, I inevitably envision that we're going to start doing some stuff in the research world. Uh, we have a lot of relationships with the universities here. So being on the front end, the, the front end of um, clinical trials and up and coming treatments and kind of driving some of that, I think, research, research based innovation uh, into where we are is, uh, is is on my bucket for like top of mind next ideas, you know. Man, I think the ADA hasn't been updated in 30 years. Um, so there's some significant legislation that needs to be done around rental car companies providing wheelchair accessible vans, around universally designed spaces, um, around a better thinking, because we're all going to age and go through something, right? We're all going to have a split second moment, right? Where it's us or a family member, a friend, and we're going to want those resources in place, right? You don't want to have to piece all of this shit together um, like I did. So me lending my personal experience back and, you know, that that experience, I think, um, using it and others' experiences to shape what public policy looks like around accessible transportation, um, accessible housing, accessible and affordable housing, um the insurance provider system like if you have a spinal cord injury or a stroke or something like that where you you like you're paralyzed and your body needs to move still you should have coverage for services like mine that are offered whether that's physical therapy or a fitness based model right like that should be a part of your insurance coverage biggest takeaway being kind doesn't cost anybody anything trying to understand someone's situation uh isn't going to cost you anything and the more empathy that we have as humanity the further programs like this will go because it'll 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 provide a deeper understanding to people uh around tragic situations uh, and how we can expand and do better as a community. Um, additionally, please donate to Split Second Foundation so we can continue this work.